increasingly, right, so data is the lifeblood of these ecosystems, right? So data represents many different things, right? So end of day, like you can take a human being, all of us and basically distill it down to the common DNA, right? So I think data is the DNA of ecosystem and it is how efficiently the ecosystem partners are able to exchange uh, and make use of, consume and produce data and defines ability to thrive of that particular ecosystem and ability to scale. Okay. And, and increasingly, I think what we are seeing is you look at the traditional patterns in technology or to sort of couple processing and data together. Right now, uh, you know, microservices sort of make it possible to completely uncouple uh, processing uh, and data, yeah. right? Uh, state is completely uncoupled uh, and, and you banks are, and even uh, large financial institutions are coming up with unified data infrastructure. You can basically say it's either cloud or cloud on-prem, still a private cloud, uh, to sort of have very many uh, data sets. You know, newer architectures like data mesh are evolving, yeah. right? So making it easier to embed governance into the design of the data infrastructure. And what it makes is it makes it easier for our consumers to both consume and produce data sets, they come back in. But as I said, ecosystems thrive because of the ability to share, share. Yeah. Uh, uh, data as you say, seamlessly. And that's what is the reason when we say we are able to embed a service into a channel, all, all what it is doing is the seamless exchange of data. Somebody needs certain verification, that's again, right? Sending some data to verify and you're able to look up and then do that seamlessly using APIs and other constructs. And there are needs to share humongous data sets on the fly. And then there is technology that allows you to do it today, right? So data sharing um, is there. And, and that's why I, I do like, you, you brought up a very good point, but data is the lifeblood of every ecosystem and ecosystems infrastructure uh, and common utilities that allow the participants to share their data seamlessly with guardrails, right? Again, you know, having the right access to data for the right reasons and how seamless can you make that is an example. Uh, or that's what drives the successful uh, ecosystems, I think, or ecosystems that scale. And that's primarily where I also think the role of uh, government and public utilities come through. And that is the reason why, you know, common payment infrastructure, you know, ability to do KYC AML using digital public utilities, they do play a very significant role. So it's not just private ecosystems or privately formed ecosystems. I do believe digital public utilities that offer common utilities need for KYC AML of firms or uh, retail. Uh, play a significant role in sort of smoothening up the interaction between uh, various uh, participants. participants. And we did also see, like bringing back to your point of paradigm shift, right? Yeah. We did the paradigm shift happening with open banking, yeah. say for instance. And I think Singapore took a lead in there. Uh, we saw, you know, this evolving, especially in Asia, the first and the rest of the world actually followed. So how has your experience been with that? Open banking, again, right, it's coming back to the ecosystem and my point about is the ecosystem and the governance surrounding the ecosystem allowing for seamless access to data across different participants with guardrail, that is the client consent, if you're able to do that. And open banking is an example of that framework of easier data sharing or data sharing with PM guidelines. And that will basically then allow a financial services ecosystem to thrive. You would allow new participants and incumbents to freely share data with appropriate consents in place. So then you can probably use that particular data for creating product of one, right? So now, how do you know what your client preference are if you don't have data around their preferences? How can you create a product of one? And so that's primarily where we are headed to. I think there is a journey to be made, I, I believe, in open banking. Uh, not one ecosystem has had it right, so we are still learning. Uh, yes, there is data that is being made available, but there is a journey to be made. 
and then we still need to think around okay how 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 is someone monetizing that particular data is it a fair use of data i think fair use of data is going to be a very recurring theme right 